Welcome to our Adobe Muse to WordPress Converter. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the steps you need to follow to prepare your template. We're going to use our alpha template as an example, but you can use any other that you want. So the first thing, the template must have five pages. So in this case, our template has four. And so the first thing you have to do is uh, you have to rename it, okay? You have to rename it like this. First one should be called Home. Second should be called single, third page should be called page, fourth should be called search, and to get another page, what I'm, page I'm, what I'm going to do is right click and duplicate page. And this one is called category. So in this case, this template has one master page, as you can see here, but it has two menus as the home page doesn't have any master page applied. So what we're going to do is we're going to our master page. We're going to open that. And what we're going to do is we're going to delete this menu and we're going to place our own um, WordPress menu. Okay, so first thing is let's delete this. And let's go to our library and drag out our menu. Okay. So I'm going to style this a little bit so you see how it works. So what you gotta do is place the menu where you want. I'm gonna place it like here. And I'm going to, first I'm going to stretch it to browsers with and I'm going to open the options. So here, first thing I'm going to, to do is align inside container. So now you see the menu is aligned here on the left. So I'm going to align it to the right. All right. Okay. Um, the other thing you should do, so a part of styling the colors and the size and the fonts, there's another thing that's very interesting that right now you should bring up the block padding and block padding right because it's aligned to the right. This is because if not, the menu is going to be too too close to to the border of the screen. So I want it to not be that close. So I'm going to bring this up until to thirty. Okay. You can see here how he can move. So that's like thirty pixels. Okay, you can do this as as you want. So what we're going to do here is. I'm going to copy size and positions to all breakpoints. So that means all my breakpoints, the menu will be there. Okay? That's it. Now let's do the same thing with home. So we're going to delete this menu and we're going to drag our other menu here. So if you want to style it the same as the as the home page, but in this case maybe I want it, I prefer it to be on the left. So that's why I haven't applied any any master page here. So I'm gonna stretch the browsers with. And I'm gonna tell it let's align it to the left. Okay, that's correct. And let's bring up the 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 block padding padding to let's say 36, for example. Okay? I'm not gonna change the colors or the fonts or anything yet. Okay, so if I want it to remain here in this position, what I'm going to do is going to pin it up here. That's it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to single page search and category and we're going to delete the elements that we don't need. So basically we're going to delete everything except for the photo. Okay, so just drag it and you're going to delete everything. Okay. Okay. 
So now what we're going to do, we're going to drag our widget. Let's make this a bit bigger. Okay, we're going to drag our single WordPress widget to this to this page, which, which is our single page. Okay. So first thing we're going to do is I'm going to place it I'm going to stretch it to browsers width and I'm going to place it here exactly in 430. Good. You can open the, the styles here and then you can start customizing and changing the color, changing the size of the title and the content, okay? But I'm not going to do that because this is an, uh, a fast tutorial. So what I'm going to do now to, is I'm going to bring up the page because if you see there's a big empty space here because there was content before but now there isn't. So I'm going to bring down a guide to approximately, let's say, a thousand pixels. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring this up. Okay. So the thing is that in other breakpoints, this hasn't changed. So fastest way is... Click on your workspace, make sure you're not clicking anything, it has to be like the background or something. You right click and copy page layout to all breakpoints. This way you don't have to bring up every the page in every single breakpoint, okay? So we're going to do this same thing with the rest of the pages. The only thing that will change is that in our page, we're going to drag our page widget in search, we're going to drag our search widget in category, we're going to drag our category widget, okay? So this is what I'm going to do now. Okay, so we're done with our template and we actually have more widgets in our converter. We have a comments widget and we have a sidebar widget, but we haven't used it in, now because it, comments and, and sidebar are optional. You do need to place in category or category widget, your search widget in your search page, but comments and sidebar is completely optional. And this is like the easiest version to, to, to how to, to use our converter. So once you're done with your template, what we're going to do is we're going to export this to HTML. Okay, so place it to a folder. I'm going to place it here in my desktop. And export. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to that folder and we're going to select this all and we're going to compress it. Okay, I'm going to bring this out here. You can rename this if you want, so I'm going to put alpha and we have to go now to our converter, so we're going to choose now our zip file, which is this one here, so you're going to choose it, and we just have to click on Submit. Okay, so if this appears, it means that the template has already been converted. Uh, remember, Mac users, press Alt when clicking Download button, okay? So that I have a Mac now, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to click Alt, and I'm going to click on the Download button. So now when this has already been when downloaded, we have to go to WordPress and we're going to install this template. Okay, so once in WordPress, you're going to go to Appearance, Themes. And we're going to add a new theme here. Okay, Upload Theme. And let's choose a file. So I have this in our Downloads. And this is the file. I'm gonna choose it. Okay, so click on install now. Okay, this is done. And I'm going to activate it. Okay, so we're going to preview how's installed. Okay, so we have our full page slideshow here, and we have our menu. Let's go to a page, let's go to a post, a blog post called Hello World. Okay, so we get the uh, header with our logo here and and the picture 
and let's go to another page which is sample page okay you get the same thing and yeah that's it so we're done now and see how easy it is to use our Adobe Muse to WordPress converter thank you guys for watching